Hey guys, the objective of this video is to look at the reinforcement required for the maximum hogging. So we find this value from straight from the envelope. So looking at our bending moment envelope, the maximum hogging occurs at the supports, so at 0, 8, 18, and 26 meters. These are our supports and these are the hogging moments. So we just take our ruler and we see roughly what value it is. So it's around this line here, which is at 1,100 kilonewton meters. So our design bending moment, our MUO max, is 1,100 kilonewton meters. Uh, what we're going to be doing then is we need to assume a bar size. Because we're doing maximum hogging and the moments are huge, it's 1,100 kilonewton meters, we're going to assume a big bar size. So we're going to be assuming N32 bars. We then need to find the distance D from there to the um, top bars. Uh, that distance will be the total depth of the beam, which is 650, minus the cover, minus the stirrups, which are N12, so 12 millimeters, minus the radius of the bar. So this distance D is to the center of the reinforcing layer. Once again, guys, I'm just going to be going through this video quite quickly. If you want to know where I'm getting the formula from and all the concepts, watch the previous two videos. Uh, where the process is the exact same and I explain the concepts in much more detail. I'm just using the formula straight up and going through it in this example. Um, we're then going to be using the design philosophy, M has to be greater than M star, where M is ASFY times 0.95D. Um, rearranging this for AS, we get this formula here, so dividing through by all this, keeping AS on this side, and subbing in for those values. The area of, so the area of steel must be greater than the design moment, which is 1100, times by 10 to the 6, putting it into newtons and millimeters. The yield stress of steel, 500 MPa, 0.95, and D we found to be 597, so that's D over there. Then simplifying this, we get AS would have to be greater than 3879 millimeters squared, which means that the number of bars we need is gonna be that area divided through the area of a single N32 bar. So the area of an N32 bar will be pi by